By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to determine the scope of language acquisition, describe the main aspects of language acquisition, define the main theories to language acquisition, explain the key factors involved in successful language acquisition, identify the five stages of language acquisition. Hello everybody. And welcome to the Univ English channel. If you have not been here before, then, welcome to the Univ English channel. If you're interested in learning more about linguistics, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also smash the notification bell. To receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this, for more information, you are invited to visit my website, english.mokerma.com. So, let's begin with this question. How can you define the scope of language acquisition? Language acquisition is the process of learning a language. It is a complex process that varies based on individual, environmental and linguistic factors. Language acquisition occurs during the early stages of life, typically during childhood and adolescence, when most people acquire their native language or languages. As children interact with other people in their environment they learn to understand what they hear and eventually develop the ability to produce speech themselves. Language acquisition is one of the most popular topics in cognitive science and linguistics. To date, it is unclear whether language acquisition occurs as a result of nature, that is, genetics, or nurture, that is, environment. This has been widely studied and debated over the years with no clear consensus yet to be reached. Aspects of Language Acquisition Language acquisition is an important part of human development, and it is essential to understand the different components of the process. Researchers explore some aspects of language acquisition, including the role of innate ability, exposure to language, and the effect of age on learning. The results of such studies may provide a better understanding of how individuals acquire language. This knowledge can help parents, educators, and students identify the best approaches for learning languages. The Role of Innate Ability Innate ability plays a significant role in language acquisition. This includes both the intrinsic ability to learn language as well as the physiological components of language processing and production. For instance, researchers suggested that children born with a strong auditory memory are better able to learn new words quickly and accurately. Similarly, infants who have higher levels of neuromechanisms allowing for rapid multisensory integration may be more equipped for learning second languages or different dialects in adulthood. On the other hand, innate ability can also hinder one's progress in language acquisition if there is an underlying condition such as dyslexia or speech impediment caused by physical or neurological impairment. In these cases, intervention from professionals specializing in speech therapy can help reduce any negative impact on the individual's linguistic development and thus improve their overall results in acquiring language skills. Exposure to language Exposure to language is one of the most critical factors in successful language acquisition. Studies have shown that infants as young as six months old are capable of distinguishing between different languages, and that exposure to more than one language from a young age can lead to better overall understanding of both. In order for a child to acquire language, they must be exposed to it, hearing it spoken around them on a regular basis is the best way for them to become familiar with the words, grammar and syntax associated with each. This allows them to learn by association and repetition, which is essential if they are going to be able to communicate effectively in any given language. It has even been suggested that exposure at an early age can help improve their abilities in other subjects such as maths or science too. The effect of age on learning. The age at which a person begins to learn a language can have a significant effect on their ability to pick up the language. Young children often have an advantage when it comes to learning languages as their brains are still developing and are better equipped for taking in new information. Studies have found that children up to the age of 10 or 11 who are exposed to a second language can more easily understand and use grammar, pronunciation, and intonation than an adult with the same exposure. In contrast, teenagers and adults may need more time and exposure in order to become proficient in another language.
but they often build larger vocabularies faster than young children because they already possess mature cognitive skills. How Language Acquisition Happens Language acquisition involves the development of a person's ability to understand and produce language. It is a process that begins at birth and continues throughout life, with an individual's capacity for language increasing over time. During early childhood, children learn the fundamental elements of their native language or languages through interactions with their immediate environment. Through exposure to spoken language, children acquire the phonemes, syntax and semantics necessary for basic communication. As they interact with people around them, their understanding of a given language grows deeper and their ability to express themselves more effectively develops as well. In addition to verbal communication, individuals also receive nonverbal cues from other people in order to better interpret meaning from what is being said or written. This helps promote further development in the understanding of words used in context, as well as how different situations might require different ways of saying something. Stages of Language Acquisition Language acquisition is an important part of developing communication skills and accessing information. It is the process of learning a language, which includes understanding how to listen, speak, read and write. There are various stages involved in language acquisition, pre-production, early production, speech emergence, fluency and mastery. The Pre-Production Stage the first stage is known as pre-production and usually occurs between birth to two years old. During this period children begin to develop their receptive language skills by listening to others and responding with facial expressions or body movements. At this stage, they are also beginning to associate words with objects or actions, but will not be able to produce full sentences yet. The Early Production Stage the second stage is early production which takes place between two to three years old when children start using simple phrases or sentences for basic conversations. They can now ask questions and normally understand simple commands, but the emphasis is still on listening and absorbing the new language. There will be many errors in the early production stage. The speech emergence stage. During this period, Children begin to develop their expressive language skills by forming simple sentences with a wider variety of words. This is an important part of the language learning process because it helps children communicate more effectively and accurately express their thoughts. At this stage, children are able to understand most of what adults say, but may still struggle to clearly articulate their own thoughts in complex sentences. To help them in this area, adults should provide additional verbal and nonverbal cues to guide them through conversations. For example, adults can model appropriate sentence structure or use pictures and other visual aids when communicating with young children who are just entering the speech emergence stage. The Fluency Stage During the fluency stage, infants begin to understand how words are grouped together to form phrases and sentences. This stage typically takes place after approximately four to six years of learning the language or sometimes longer depending on the individual's level of exposure to the language. At this point, the individual is able to understand and produce complex sentences, maintain conversations with native speakers, and effectively use the grammatical structures associated with their target language. The Mastery Stage the mastery stage is the last stage of language acquisition and is often the longest. At this point, the learner has a good foundation in their new language and is capable of communicating effectively through it. They are able to use grammar fluently, understand complex ideas, and can easily recall words and phrases when necessary. During this stage, learners will be able to understand nuances of language such as slang and jokes as well as converse confidently with native speakers. Theories of Language Acquisition The theories of language acquisition have long been a topic of discussion among linguists and educators alike. It has been proposed that there are three primary theories used to explain how humans learn a language, the nativist theory, behaviorist theory, and social interactionist theory. The Nativist Theory 
The nativist theory suggests that humans possess an innate capacity for language learning which allows them to acquire knowledge of their native language without formal instruction. This theory claims that we are born with a language acquisition device, LAD, an area of the brain that makes learning languages a natural process. This is based on the premise that certain grammar rules and syntax structures are already hardwired into our brains before birth, allowing us to acquire new languages with relative ease. The nativists argue that children learn language in the same way around the world, regardless of their cultural backgrounds or languages. The Behaviorist Theory The behaviorist approach explains language acquisition as a learned behavior through environmental conditioning and reinforcement. According to this view, children learn language by being exposed to it in their environment and then receive positive reinforcement when they use words correctly or form sentences correctly. Behaviorists claim that language acquisition and development are learned behaviors through observation and imitation. They started from the assumption that we learn by associating events, known as classical conditioning. Through this process, individuals are able to acquire new linguistic skills as well as modify their existing behaviors. At its core, the behaviorist theory is based on the principles of classical and operant conditioning. Classical conditioning states that a stimulus causes a reaction while operant conditioning involves an individual being rewarded or punished for certain behaviors. Both of these concepts can be seen in the way learners acquire language, first by responding to environmental cues and then by reinforcing certain responses with rewards or punishments. For example, when learning a new word, an individual may be rewarded when they correctly use it in conversation or reprimanded if they fail to do so correctly. The Social Interactionist Theory the social interactionist theory views language acquisition as a collaborative process between the learner and other people in their environment. This theory suggests that children learn language through active engagement with others in their environment, such as parents, siblings, peers, teachers, and caregivers. Interactions between the child and these people provide opportunities for the child to acquire new language skills. The idea is that a child's ability to communicate with others, both linguistically and non-linguistically, is essential for language learning to occur. In this view, children are seen as capable of constructing their own meaning from interaction with others. Through conversations with adults or peers. Children learn conversational strategies such as taking turns in conversation or asking questions about topics they are unfamiliar with. These strategies help them develop an understanding of how to use language efficiently within a given context. Conclusion Language acquisition is an incredibly complex and fascinating topic that has been studied for centuries. It involves both the process of learning a language and the ability to understand and use it in various contexts. Researchers look at the different approaches to language acquisition, from both a theoretical perspective as well as practical applications to understand the various stages and strategies involved with language learning, as well as be aware of any potential issues that may arise. By providing a stimulating environment and encouraging basic communication skills, children can have the best chances for successful language acquisition.